In this video, we are going to learn how to name the dye substituted benzene rings. A dye substituted benzene ring is a benzene in which two of the hydrogen atoms on the benzene ring are substituted with a group of atoms or an atom. For instance, if I have a benzene ring like this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms on the ring. If I replace one of the hydrogens here, if I remove the hydrogen here and put a methyl group, this is monosubstituted. Only one hydrogen has been replaced. If I put another methyl group somewhere here, that means I remove the H here and replace it with a methyl group. Do not forget that the benzene ring is like this. These are carbon atoms. These junctions represent positions of carbon. And each of the carbons carry a hydrogen, like this. So I have benzene to be C6, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the benzene. But when we draw it, most times, we don't show you the carbon and the hydrogen. But bear in mind that the carbons and hydrogens are there. So if I put something here, it means that I remove this hydrogen and replace it with methyl group CH3. If I put something here, it means that I remove this hydrogen and replace it with CH3. So two hydrogens have been substituted. That's why it is called disubstituted. Remember, di means two. So this is a disubstituted benzene ring. Let's see how to name this structure on the board. This is a benzene ring having two methyl groups attached to it. Therefore, we call it a disubstituted benzene ring. Remember, di means two. Two groups were used to substitute hydrogens. Now, I have two methyl groups. This is methyl. This is another methyl. Then the big compound there is benzene. Now that I have methyl groups two places, I can join them together as dimethyl. Methyl plus methyl gives me dimethyl. Di means two, two methyl groups, dimethyl. Now I have dimethyl and I have benzene. So if I combine the two names, I will have it as dimethyl benzene. Dimethylbenzene. We will number this in this direction. If I start here, I will call here my position number one, position two, three, four, five, and six. If I number in the clockwise direction, starting from here, I will have my methyl groups at positions one and position three, which is one and three. Let's call it 13. If I number in the anti-clockwise direction, that is moving backwards this way, if I follow this direction, I will have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And my attachments will be at 1 and 5. 1, 5, which means 15. And you know the rule of naming of any compound says number from the side that will give the attachments or substituents a lower number. So you see that 13 is lower than 15. Therefore, we are going to follow this and not this. So we we'll follow the clockwise direction where they will have a lower number, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, with this, you notice that the attachments, which is the metal groups, are located at positions 1 and 3. So, for this one, we have 1 metal. For this metal, it is at number 3. We have it at 3 metal. And the parent compound is benzene. That is this one. Now, how do we combine these three names together as one? 
This is methyl, this is methyl. So therefore, if we combine methyl and methyl, we have dimethyl. I will collect their positions, then I will use dimethyl. How do I do that? The name becomes one, three, at one and at three, I have methyl groups, two of them. So I will say dimethyl, then benzene. So if I don't call this, if I don't call it dimethyl benzene, if I want to show the positions of the methyl groups, I will say one, three, then dimethyl. Di because there are two of them. Dimethyl benzene. Click the next video to see how to draw auto meta para substituted benzene rings. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.